Hey, welcome back, folks. 1226 on this Tuesday afternoon. Well, we had a cooler start to the day. We also had a cloudy start. Check out the satellite and radar. It's pretty cloudy for most of South Texas. That high pressure system is definitely dominating the Dallas Fort Worth area, even some of the Houston area. But if we zoom into the valley, we start seeing a little bit of a break in the clouds, mostly in the mid to upper valley into Star County. And because we have that break in the clouds, well, that means we're going to heat up in the mid to upper valley a little bit more than closer to the coast. So 70 in Rio Grande City, 71 in McAllen and Edinburgh, 69 in Westlaco, 67 in Raymondville and Harlingen, even Port Isabel sitting at 67, and then 68 in Brownsville. Now, cold air is bleeding into Texas. We might not get any of this cold air, though. There's almost a 30 degree temperature difference between Amarillo sitting at 48 and McAllen sitting at 71, 58 in Midland and Abilene, 56 in Dallas, and 57 in Longview. Now, your normal high for this time of year is around 80 degrees. Now, this is after a 30 year average. So, we're not going to hit that for the next three days. 71 on Tuesday, 73 on Wednesday, and then 75 on Thursday. So, we're normal, we're nowhere near the average high for this time of year. We're nowhere near those record highs, so it should be pretty cool for the next couple of days, and it should stay mainly dry. 10% chance of rain today. Now, I think we're going to see some coastal showers in the afternoon. Now, any showers that do spark up aren't going to be long-lived. They're going to be very short, and you may even get a sprinkle or two that the radar won't pick up. Dry tomorrow, and then Thursday, courtesy of a wind shift from the northeast straight to the east, bringing in a lot of golf moisture into our our area. A couple of showers in the afternoon on Thursday, but again, those won't be very long lived. They will be very short if they do spark up. On the water, well, your winds are out of the northeast at 15 to 20 knots. Your bay water is at a moderate chop. Your next tide is at a high tide at 406, and the seas are at two to four feet. Now, there is a moderate rip current risk, so if you are at the island for spring break, just be advised that there is that moderate rip current risk into today. So, Tuesday, 1 p.m., is showing that there's going to be a big break in the clouds, especially for the mid and upper valley. Tuesday tonight, those are those coastal showers that we were talking about. And then Wednesday, we start to dry out as far as those showers are concerned, as far as the cloud cover. Today, high of around 71, mostly cloudy. A couple showers tonight, winds out of the north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then tonight, Grab a jacket because we're hitting a low of around 57 cloudy skies. And actually, 57 is the normal overnight low temperature for this time of year. So we are sitting pretty cool as far as our overnight low temperatures. Well, we heat up just slightly each day, 73 tomorrow, 75 on Thursday. And then we continue on a little bit of a heating trend. But look at Monday, high of around 91. Now, Monday is kind of a big old question mark on whether or not we're going to hit 91 because another cold front is coming through. We're going to continue tracking that front for you, and that's your first Warn 5 forecast.